Good morning and thank you for having me today. My name is Justin Moyer and I will be discussing my research project um, entitled uh, Centurion Canine uh, Growth and Marketing for Small Business. A um, little bit of background, uh, Centurion Canine was formed in 2004 by Daryl DeSanto. Uh, he is a multi-year law enforcement uh, professional where uh, he spent most of his time with uh, canine units, um, supervising uh, SWAT teams, and uh, being a, uh, both a SWAT and canine commander during his 20-year uh, um, stint as a law enforcement officer in Southern California. Um, upon retirement, he decided to go into business for himself and started Centurion Canine Consulting. Um, Daryl recognized there was a need in the law enforcement community for better training and better preparation for canine teams and units um, across the nation uh, to create a much more proficient and reliable uh, canine and canine handler um, in the ever-evolving uh, law enforcement uh, times today with the advent of terrorism and uh, threats. Uh, the canine is becoming more and more um, widely used and accepted as a formidable tool against um, criminals and uh, terrorists alike. Um, going through um, a law enforcement agency that was highly reliant on canines, um, Daryl recognized there was a need for better training and uh, a need for much more realistic training that was tailored to each individual agency's needs. Um, and this was the niche that he built his company on. Um, currently, most law enforcement agencies travel outside of their agency in order to um, get the training that they need to uh, make sure that their handlers and their canines are up to speed on everything uh, that they need to. Um, Daryl flips this idea on its head and because of this Centurion Canine goes to each individual agencies um, allowing them to train in their environment and in the um, the city in which that they will spend most of their time uh, doing their work and this allows for a much more proficient and effective uh, canine team and a canine team that's much more confident in their abilities and what needs to be done. Um, currently there are only eight agencies that are uh, contracted through Centurion Canine and uh, Daryl would like to see his company grow and offer more services to uh, the law enforcement community both locally and federally. Um, this research project uh, explores strategies to increase business growth um, of Centurion Canine Consulting. Um, the research um, is geared towards um, marketing tools, um, both old and new, um, to see the cost-effective strategies of utilizing them and uh, the ability to attract more clientele. The first um, strategy we're looking at is firm initiated contacts um, in which um, is a much more traditional sense of marketing. Um, firm initiated contacts are uh, marketing tools such as flyers, mailers, and telemarketing um, in which uh, the firm is soliciting uh, business rather than uh, the clients coming to the firm and asking the firm to uh, take up its contracts. Um, we'll be contrasting that with uh, the new ways of marketing, um, the 21st century uh, marketing tools um, that we're just now starting to see develop. Um, in this case, we call this Customer Initiated Contacts, or CIC, in which the clients recognize the need and um, desire to partner with a, a company that offers the necessary tools and um, strategies to help them achieve their goals. Um, one major idea of uh, customer initiated contact is um, having a website. Um, this allows the customer to browse through the information provided by the, the business um, at their own leisure and without any pressure or um, outside influences um, that are, are pushing them to sign up with the company. Um, this allows a much more relaxed environment and a much more trusting environment on behalf of the customer. Um, in the 21st century, we're seeing uh, businesses with presences on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest 
um, in order to uh, get their name out there into the marketplace and attract clients to come to them in order to uh, utilize what their business offers. Um, the second thing we look at is professional relationships. Um, one of the research topics and um, programs that uh, I looked at for my research project is um, one done by Jones and Rowley that was published in the International Small Business Journal. Um, and a quote from them reads that, in their findings they noted a small firm's marketing advantage is precisely linked to the close relationships between the entrepreneur and the customers, in contrast to larger firms in which it's more difficult to embed entrepreneurship and a customer orientation into its organizational structure. Um, this shows the stark contrast um, between what a small business faces and what a large corporation faces. A large corporation is going to see um, a benefit in having commercials and billboards um, and other mass media marketing opportunities. Whereas the small business is going to need a much more close um, connection between itself and its clientele in order to uh, build that trust and build up repeat business um, from the clientele and word of mouth marketing when they speak to other uh, um, potential clients. Um, it's important that uh, the business recognize this and strive to put the customers first and create a much more customer friendly environment within their business. Um, as a result of uh, my research, I um, expect to, to see um, a direct link between smart marketing um, and the growth of small business over a larger scale marketing um, aspect. Um, because of this, we should see small business take a much um, more keen interest in uh, smart marketing and directly marketing those um, immediate potential clients um, rather than spending um, the hard-earned money and uh, limited funds on mass marketing campaigns such as billboards and, um, and commercials and uh, other marketing outlets that seem to work best for large companies over the small companies. Um, thank you for your time and I uh, look forward to presenting the rest of my project in the near future.